but I feel as though she's worked enough. She has people around who are yes people and allowing this to continue. Right? This is all too much. Go! Die! The industry, where it has provided opportunities for many, can be a ruthless place for some as well. It will accept you with open arms and bright smiles when you're a fan favorite, but the moment you struggle, it will throw you back to the ground. Quite a similar incident has happened with Wendy Williams. It has confirmed the claims made by Kanye West where the record producer claimed that the authorities intoxicated him. Wendy is currently in a very miserable state and her family has a lot to say. Um, Wendy seemed confused, she seemed disoriented. She was drinking a lot, heavily, and her mental and physical health seems to be very concerning. Right? Wendy Williams was just a normal person like everyone else, until the Wendy Williams show went air and she climbed the stairs of success. The show completed its 12 seasons comfortably topping the charts, with Wendy as the host. However, with the beginning of the 13th season, there had been many mishappenings. The show was delayed due to COVID-19 and when it resumed, it kept having guest hosts. Then, where is the star of the show? Well, the producers fear she might never come back. According to a report made by The Sun, she hasn't been talking to anybody, not producers, not senior producers, no one. She has disappeared and the only line of contact production has is through her manager. While the managers were rest assured that she was with her manager, who was a cop, still they feared for Wendy's well-being as her caretaker had no authority over her. Her manager is an ex-cop so they like him because he can be a policeman for her, the source said, adding, he really has no control over her anyway. The insider also claimed that she has broken connections with everyone. She's isolated herself from everyone and isn't talking to anybody connected to the show, the show insider said. It is reported through several sources to the outlet that Wendy might not reappear on the show. I don't think she's ever going to come back to the studio, one insider said. What led the superstar to behave like this? What made her act so irrationally? Where the authorities claim it is her health issues, Wendy's family believes it's the authorities themselves. The host has been suffering from health issues including Graves' disease and lymphedema. Wendy is a true champion and has never missed a day of work, but her health and well-being must be put before all else, a show rep tells People. Wendy has been openly dealing with her Graves' disease for many years in addition to hyperthyroidism. The artist has also been battling with addiction problems. According to sources, Wendy would get drunk on the backstage of her show. People was told she would be drunk on air. Slowly, we started being like, what's going on with her? When in 2017, Wendy fainted during the Halloween episode, dressed as the Statue of Liberty, it was the beginning of the viewers' suspicions about her health problems. I knew she was struggling. How could I not? Says Suzanne Bass, the show's executive producer, whose husband was the stage manager. As her situation grew worse, she pushed us away. Since May 2022, the suffering celebrity has been living under legal guardianship that manages her finances and health. During the past 10 months, the talk show host has remained in an unknown facility to address her cognitive issues. The celebrity's bank, Wells Fargo, filed the petition in the court to appoint a guardian for Wendy. They also froze her accounts. However, Wendy's family has been claiming that they are not being disclosed all the truths and have been kept in the dark. All I know is that Wendy and her team walked into the courtroom one way, and they walked out and the family is completely excluded," says Wendy's sister Wanda. Wanda has also raised concerns over the treatment her sister has been receiving in the facility. The family informed the media outlets that except for the legal guardian, no one is allowed to visit Wanda, and all they can do is talk to her on call, but that too, not by themselves. How did she go from this aunt or sister that we love and is healthy one minute to this person who's in and out of the hospital? William's sister Wanda Finney asks in this week's People Cover Story. How is that system better than the system the family could put in place? I don't know. I do know that this system is broken. I hope that at some point Wendy becomes strong enough where she can speak on her own behalf. Wendy's niece, Finney, has also raised concerns about the process through which the host and her family are going through. And I say this honestly, we went through birthdays, we went through the holidays, we went through illness, Finney added. There was a period when my grandfather was in the hospital. There was no way to contact her and let her know what was going on with her 93-year-old father. But I shared this story with yeah. you yesterday. Yeah. There was no way to contact her and let her know what was going on with her 93-year-old father. Finney also talked about the emotions of the family members to hear the voice of Wendy and finally be able to talk to her. I don't remember who got off the phone first, but it was that feeling of like, when I get off the phone with you, I don't know if I'm going to hear from you again, she said. 
So I'm going to wait for you to say, I gotta go, bye. In terms of the contact that I've had, uh, it's been limited. There have also been reports of Wendy being intoxicated while under the care of her guardian. For instance, only a month after her legal guardian was appointed, the celebrity was caught drunk on camera outside a Louis Vuitton store. Also, after she was admitted to the facility, her manager and jeweler stated after her LA trip that Wendy was disheveled and adamant about drinking. A documentary is being produced called Where is Wendy Williams? and its executive producer, Mark Ford, asked some concerned and valid questions. I think the film is a great illustration of what, in this one particular case, life looked like for someone that was under a guardianship, says, where is Wendy Williams? Just because you're under guardianship doesn't mean that you're getting 24-7 care, and I think just leaving someone in their apartment isn't care. When we got to know Wendy's family, it was clear to us this was a nice family, and the question remained in our minds. Why is the family not able to be a part of Wendy's life? Why is the family not able to serve as her guardian? I still don't fully have those answers. Before Wendy's family's claims, Kanye West also went on air with his revelations about getting misdiagnosed by authorities. He took to his Twitter where he posted, What should be obvious by now is that I was raised to stand for my truth regardless of the consequences. So I will say this again, I was mentally misdiagnosed and nearly Dr. Asterisk GG Asterisk D out of my mind to make me a manageable, well-behaved celebrity. I remember going on TMZ and saying, you know, slavery is a choice. And they medicated me for saying that, for having that opinion and saying it out loud. Kanye also posted screenshots of his chats with a person named Harley, alleged Harley Pasternak, who seemed to be threatening the rapper. The text said, I'm going to help you one of a couple ways. First, you and I sit down and have a loving and open conversation, but you don't use cuss words, and everything that is discussed is based in fact, and not some crazy stuff that dumb friend of yours told you, or you saw in a tweet, he continues. Second option, I have you institutionalized again where they medicate the crap out of you, and you go back to Zombieland forever. Play date with the kids just won't be the same. Kanye posted a follow-up where he remarked that he was told if he exposed anything, his accomplishments would be snatched away from him. I was told that if I expose the truth of the bad business practices, everything is going to be taken from me, Kanye writes, including my black children, and everyone has bore whiteness to the public Emmett Tilling of Yee, but God has put something on my heart not to back down. Where all that Wendy is going through is expressively focused on her well-being, it seems like it is not reaching the goal smoothly. In the opinion of the fans, the facility seems more like a prison for the celebrity? Wendy's fans felt infuriated with the government not letting her be with her loved ones when she needed them the most. A user wrote, her sister should absolutely be her guardian. She loves her sister, and it's not right for her family to not have any say-so in her care, or in communicating with her, or have any knowledge of where she is, and being able to see her freely. Why is that acceptable? Who has her best interest at heart other than her own family? Wendy's situation has thrilled everyone, whether a fan or not. As a netizen commented, I haven't been the biggest fan of Wendy Williams, but I would never wish this on her or anyone for that matter. I wish her the best. That's all for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching.